All right, so we're going to work through some more examples here of doing statistics when you don't have interval or ratio data. For this example, we have data on two different types of phone users, Android and iOS phone users. They were each randomly offered a feature where it would allow you to stream uh, the music video along with music in a music streaming app. And we were looking at how many people turned on this feature. The question we wanted to answer was, was the percent of Android users who turned on this feature the same as the percent of iOS users who turned it on? So the data for this is in the Excel file. And we want you to pause for a minute right now and figure out what you would do. And then go ahead and try to do it with the data. So take a minute, pause, and when you're ready to go again, um, hit play and we'll show you what we did. All right, so hopefully you've tried to answer this question about the percentage of Android users versus iOS users that turned on a certain feature to see if the percentages were different. Now we'll go and show you what we did. So first we'll notice that this is a percentage or a proportion that we're comparing and it's between two different things, Android and iOS. So we're able to run this as a two sample test of proportions. We'll go get the data in the Excel file, copy that, and then take it to Minitab is what I'll use. And in Minitab, we'll just go under Statistics or Stat, Basic Statistics, Two Proportions. In our case, we have samples in two different columns, our iOS our, and Android samples. And we want to make sure that we're running an actual statistic and we have it set at an alpha value of 0.05 or a 95% confidence interval. Hit go. And here's our answer right over here. If we scroll up a little bit, you can see that for Android, 31% turned on the feature. For iOS, 22% turned on the feature. And the p-value to say, are these two percentages different or not, is 0.147. So if you had an alpha value of 0.05, which is what we specified in the question, uh, you would say no. Uh, we can't say that the percentage of Android users who turned on this feature is any different than the percentage of iOS users. To be more formal about it, we'd say that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis is that the percentages are the same between these two types of users. Now let's move to another question related. Same sort of scenario, but did more than 25% of Android users turn on the feature. Let's say for some reason 25% was an important benchmark to hit. You wanted to know did statistically more than 25% of users that are Android users turn on the feature. Again, hit pause now, try to do this yourself, and then when you're ready to see how we did it, uh, hit play. All right, compared to the prior question where we had Android and iOS users, the only difference is now we're down to one sample and we're comparing it to a benchmark. So this is a one sample test of proportions. I'm going to go straight to Minitab for this and go under Stat, Basic Statistics, and then one proportion. In my case, we have, we have actual, or our case, we have actual samples and columns, not summarized data. And it's, we want to look at the Android column. And then we do want to perform the hypothesis test where the hypothesized proportion is 0.25. And if you recall, the question asks, did more than 25% of Android users turn on this feature? And so this is a one-sided test. You want to see if it's more than so we need to go under options and say greater than the benchmark level. 
the hypothesized proportion. Now we're going to hit go, and it shows us that again, 31 out of 100 for 31 percent gives a, a lower bound on this, which goes below 25 percent. So not surprisingly, our p-value is greater than 0.05. Because we know it's 31 out of 100, let me just show you another way you can enter this. If all we had were the summary statistics, we could say there were 100 people in this random study who were Android users. And 31 of them turned on the feature. So the number of events was 31, how many times they turned it on, the number of trials, how many total people were given the opportunity to turn it on was 100. The rest of it's the same. As you can see, we'll get the exact same results.